All right, so today I'm doing another training. This will be training number three. And today I've got my boy EJ Coleman. Say hi, EJ. Hello, this is EJ Coleman from North Carolina. Right on, right on. So what my guy EJ is right doing, on. he's driving. He's a driver. He's a dr truck driver. All right. And interestingly enough, he says he wants to get out of their business. Now, there are a lot of people who would say, well, why would you want to get out of the trucking business? Because he's tired of driving. Period. It's just that simple. 20, 22 years. 22 years. Every week he drives. How many miles a week? Uh, 31, 3,000 to 3,200 miles a week. 3,200 miles a week. That's a lot of miles, guys. I hope you understand that. Now, here's what he may or may not know. If I know EJ, he probably knows. But check this out. I just read an article saying that Google is going to, is it Google or Amazon? Somebody that has a big company that sells stuff is going to go to driverless trucks in 2020. Amazon. Amazon's trying to do that. Well, Amazon's got their own trucks and trailers and yep. um, th th they're in the process. I mean, that's what they're, but. Driverless. I'm going, yeah, I ain't going. So that means <laughs> for the thousands and thousands of guys who've been driving trucks their whole life, a lot of them are going to lose their job. But here's what they cannot get, here's what they cannot get rid of until the United States and the world comes up with some Star Trek shit so that everything <laughs> that you got in your warehouse gets moved to another yeah. warehouse by saying, beam me up, Scotty. Until beam they come up, up until they come up with that, there will be pallets. Wood and trucks. nails. Wooden, <laughs> wood and nails. That's it. <laughs> wood with That's nails right. in it. It's going to always be wood with nails in it. And it's not going to be plastic because plastic is the worst thing in the world you can make a pallet out of. All right. Plus, it's bad for the environment. So, because the trees that these pallets are made out of are farmed, just like cows. We eat cows. We don't go out in the field <clears throat> and kill off native cattle to eat. No, we graze these cattle for the purpose of eating and, and using their hides. That's what we do. Now, you can buy into that if you want. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Okay. So, with that said, there will always be pallets and there will always be pallet yards and there will always be people who need them. Now, what I'm going to show you today, EJ, I'm taking it to the next level. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. All right. Now, as you see on here, this as you can see, the information that you're seeking has been blacked out. And some of the words will be muted as well, because this is information that I cannot give away. In other words, this is to be sold and not told. Thank you. Pallet companies. Dallas, Fort Worth. No, not Dallas. Pa that that oh. was comp companies near me. Oh. Near me, all right? Now, boom. All those red dots are pallet companies. Wow. So as you can see, I got a lot of customers and I got a lot of pallet sellers. And all I'm doing is putting customer with pallets. Now, correct. the problem with most of these companies is they're all working with maybe two or three companies in town, one of them, Twin Cities, Pallet and Mulch. They don't really care because they've got these clients, they've had them since the person who owns the company's great grandpappy had the company and they started with Twin Cities, Pallet and Mulch, okay? But they're charging them, they're raising their prices every year. Right. So right now, because lumber prices are kind of expensive, they're raising their prices and they just go with it because they don't know any different. They don't know any better. What we do, like progressive insurance, we make the pallet companies fight for the business, period. So in other words, we have a fiduciary responsibility to make this happen. So let's go to the Dallas Fort Worth area. You said you want to work out of Dallas, right? That area. Yeah. All right. Dallas, I'll put Dallas Fort Worth in here. And what? boom, that's the Dallas Fort Worth area right there. Right? That whole metropolis is Dallas Fort Worth. 
Now, with that said, all I have to do is type in, because here's, here's the secret sauce you're about to get right now, EJ. Okay. Look closely. I'm going to send you this video. These okay. four industries are what you're going to start with. Okay. So you write. Do I need to write that? I, I don't have nothing to write that video. down. I'll send you okay. the video and all you got to do is just <clears throat> write it down. So okay. you go to Google Maps and you type in Dallas yep. Fort Worth. And then you type, you take elect and put it on notepad, take it. Right. Copy. Paste. Control P. Near. Dallas Fort Worth and hit enter. And bam. As you can see, these are all the companies in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Wow. Now, what you do, because over here is where they are. These are the companies. All you do right. is every day, you start with the first one, call them, make the pitch, go as far as you can. After that call is over, go to them, make the pitch, go as far as you can, go to them, 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 right. go to them, right? By the time you get to right. the bottom, by the time you get to the bottom, if you don't have any sales by then, right? Then and, and, and take notes. Take notes of your calls because I need to know you call these people. All right. Right, right. Take I got the you. call. Right. Now, after you get done with that. Circle back around with whatever appointments you need to make with those people, all these companies, right? Don't jump mm -hmm. around though. Stay with until one or two things happen. You you get you exhaust your resources, or you make some sales. Okay. All right. Now let's say you get done with all this and you didn't make no sales. Or you got done with all this and you got two sales and you're making yourself, I don't know, four grand a week. All right. Now, you want to make more money? No problem. I still, I still I know enough. it's crazy. But <laughs> after you get done with that, next thing you go to. <laughs> copy. <laughs> right? Yeah. Copy. Paste. Control. V. Enter. Then suddenly... Boom, there are some more people. <laughs> All right, so then you call out of them. One or two God, things are going to happen. <clears throat> you run out of the resource or you're going to make some sales. Say so you make two sales out of all these people. Then you're at eight grand a week, somewhere like that. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'm just saying, hold on. Here's Blue. Hold on, let me let Blue in. All right. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Blue? No, he hadn't gotten in. He hadn't gotten in yet. Hang on one second. Let me let me let me let me switch away from um, stop share. Hey Blue, what's up, Greg? Hey man, I'm putting your boy EJ up on this game. I'm giving him the same four categories you guys got. Okay, okay. Yeah. Love, what's up, Blue? Yes, sir. What's up, Blue? Out here getting sore. Good deal. What's up, EJ? What are you doing? Hey man, check it out. Not blue, much, man. blue and uh, blue and Q. What's up, brother? Q and blue. They already yes, got sir. people. They already got people sending them information. They haven't closed anybody Dude, that's yet. That's awesome. But they got people. And now, and how long you guys had these li this listing? Two days. Two days. Yeah. Okay. Two so, days. so again, are you are you guys still on? You should be. Actually, the that we were seeing around us, it was actually like a lot of small supply stores. Right. So we pretty much moved to, uh, so we've been finding a lot of them. Okay. So we really just hopped in the car right now and we just driving around right now to some of the spots that we had picked and seeing what we, and finna go talk to some people. Bam. Yes, sir. Now I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you. Awesome. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Blue and Q, I'm going to tell you, they straight gangster with it. All right? Yeah. Hey, it ain't no punk in their heart. I'm telling you, ain't no punk in no their heart. These are some shot town brothers. Right now. Right. These are some shot town brothers. Right? And I'm going to tell you something. Rock else. on, brother. Hey, I, I know. I'm shot town too, yeah, brother. We out here. <laughs> and again, like I said, I and I'll tell Blue this too. 
in the last two days, I've had five people try to join this business with me. Now, bless but here's the deal. I only, I only talked to one of them. The other four, I'm not even getting back to. Why? Because they call, leave a message, and here's what they sound like. Oh, uh, I sent your, I sent your business. Ah, uh, nah, nah, they ain't got no. Oh man, no, come on, <laughs> come on, man, right? Yeah. How you right. gonna sell anything but crack? You can't sell nothing but crack. And luckily, yeah, you don't have to really talk when you're selling crack. You just have to go on a corner and hold your hand. <laughs> right? You yeah, ain't talk, pretty much. Right? You ain't got to talk. You're selling some meth, right? You can be the biggest hillbilly in the, on the farm. You ain't got to be able to say nothing but, oh, you want some meth? And that'd be it. All right? <laughs> nothing else to say. Mm -hmm. All right? You got to be able to talk. You got to be able to turn it on and off. EJ... EJ country has a truckload of hogs, but when it's time to have a conversation with a business person, he know how to break it down, right? Blue got that gangster on him. I can smell it. I can smell <laughs> it. But when it's time to talk, look at his back. He's a, he sells houses. He flips real That's estate. Real. You can't do that and be off the game. You got to be able to have a conversation right. with people. So right. don't show bro, honestly, the, like you said, bro. These is like just average everyday people. They want to talk to you, like want to talk. They ready to talk about some other than what they've been doing all day, just to <laughs> get away or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. they palace. What y'all talking about palace? Like it's foreign. Like don't nobody really come talk and to they, them about and that. Wanna, and they want to give it away. This the thing. Oh, who is that? Who is that over there? Who is that? Get me, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, That's. I'm driving right now, but they they, <laughs> they want to give these things away. Like they begging you to come and take free money. Yep, yep. Again, again, folks, and for everybody who's watching this, because I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna blank out some stuff because I don't want y'all knowing my game. I'm gonna blank out a lot of stuff in this. I'm gonna mute a lot of stuff. But again, if you are looking at this video and you're thinking of talking to me and working with me. EJ, Blue, Q, uh, Nick, everybody else is in the team. I'm trying to get this girl named Valerie because she, she called and left a really nice message. I want to go get back to her. Women, I don't care what you are, who you are, right? If you want to work with me, you got to know how to talk because you're going to be on the phone. You're going to talk, but you're not going to talk to anybody with a suit on. Everybody you talk to is probably going to be wearing overalls, right? Cause we're just regular people, right? Right. That's why you don't see me with a suit. I'm trying to be out, nah, man. Cause you're talking to regular people, right? So don't call the number unless you know how to put on your business voice. Everybody on the planet, not just people who look like me, but everybody in the planet has a business voice and a my dude's voice or my girls, or everybody got their vibe based on where they are. Don't call me unless your vibe is ready because I'm not going to call you back, period. Because I want you to be able to win. And if I hear that you can't talk, you will not win. So, but that doesn't mean you can't work with me at some point. What that means, you have to learn one or two things. You need to learn how to talk or you need to learn how to drive a big ass truck full of pallets. Because I can put you to work. Yeah. <laughs> I can put you to work. You ain't got to say nothing. You just pull up and pick up the pallets, go sell the pallets, and come back. Because I'll handle the money. Yeah. I'll send you your cut. But you're not going to make the kind of money these cats making, just so you know. Yeah. But you'll make more money than you're already making. That's a fact. Right. Now, so let me get back to what I was showing. All right. Share my screen again. Hey, I'm not trying to double dip on this thing. I could drive it, sell it. And Dude, what you mean you ain't trying to double dip? You better double dip. You better double dip. Don't. Why would you not? Shit. You drop a truck off. You oh, drop a man. load of stuff off. You got an empty ass truck getting ready to go back to North Carolina. Something tells me you're going to fill oh, that truck man. up with some pallets and sell some pallets in North Carolina. That's what I would do. For real? Well, if uh, I had my own truck, maybe, but I'm loaded every time, everywhere I go, except oh, for, well, I mean, in between stops. You it know is what, I mean? what it is. It is what it is. Okay, now check it out. Right. This is.
in Dallas, Fort Worth, all these people, once you call them <coughs> and you exhaust this resource, that means one of two things has happened. You've either called them all and none of them bought from you or you made some sales. So let's say you we make making money. Let's say you made two sales. Say you got a total of four sales. And let's say you make an average of, let's just say you make an average of $1,000 a week. All right, so that's $4,000 a week. Now, moving forward, pull a slip up. Once you exhaust those, you go to. <laughs> you copy, <clears throat> you paste it. Control paste, hit enter. And boom, that's how many you got. Wow. All right. These people make stuff. They build stuff. Now, yeah. these prop these guys probably use long pallets because as you can see, that's some long metal right there. So they probably got a special right. size pallet that they put their stuff on and send it out. What do they have in their backyard? Look like pallets. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, what about the plastic pallets? Don't screw them. The polymer plant. Don't bother. Because you can't Don't sell bother. them. You can't sell them. You can't, and people can't give them away because because nobody wants them. Right. Okay. People <laughs> made the mistake of buying a bunch of pallets a long time, buying, you know, plastic pallets, thinking they were helping. <clears throat> up, basically. So again, you got all these right there in, in, in Dallas Fort Worth. All right. So what happens is you, you know, you make money or you go on to somebody else. All right. Right. That's how it goes down. And after you finish exhausting this resource, one of two things is going to happen. You're going to have some sales here or you will have exhausted them completely. But again, don't just call somebody one time and be done and move on. If you right. get them on the phone. Because all of them will talk to you once you get them on the phone. Period. All right. Now, once you've exhausted, then you go to your page again, highlight that, go to your notepad, boom, copy, control V, paste. Near Dallas Fort Worth. And then, bam! Fort, now, Fort Worth has more than Dallas. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't scrolled over here yet either. So let's see what we got over here. Oh, I don't see much, but you can scroll. They're basically see, the same. There's place. Ennis. They, there's they ain't Ennis. About 35, 40 minutes between. Yeah, there's, them. there's Ennis right there where you are. Right is there in it? Do you see Leggett Le Le and Platt or whatever? Because that's where they're at, is in Ennis. Okay, hold on a second. All right, that's the company right there. They're oh, huge. Yeah, that's a big pallet company. Yeah, they're huge. But I again, mean, they, they, yeah. but again, they're only how many minutes from Dallas, Fort Worth? Oh, they're forty-six minutes. Okay, so if you know the guy, get to know the guy and say, "Look, man, this is what I'm doing. My partner and I, we own a pallet company. We broker pallets. We would like to use you as our preferred vendor. All you got to do is make us the right deal every time. Well, what's the right deal? It depends on the deal. So, in other words. You got a company over here in Dallas, right? Yep. Got a company in Dallas that's right here. And they're buying their pallets from Pallet Logistics of America. Let's say this company right here, Leslie's Distribution Center, is buying their pallets from Pallet Logistics right next door, basically across the street, right? They're selling mm -hmm. these guys pallets for let's say 10 bucks a pallet, right? And it's the company in Ennis said they'll make us a deal for six bucks, including delivery, right? So that's, that's $5, that's $4 in the middle. We sell them their pallets for nine, that leaves three in the middle. Let's say this big ass company needs about 2000 pallets a week, right? So suddenly, $6, That's six thousand dollars. So you're gonna put three thousand dollars in your pocket every week. That's how you can end <laughs> up. That's how you can end up with a hundred thousand dollars a week 
in about oh, six shit. months. Golly. But think about it, guys. That's, that really ain't a lot of money. It really ain't. Let's pull a calculator up and just do some real numbers. It sounds awesome, but let's say $100,000 times, let's say 50 weeks. All that well, is, is five, that's all 500. five million bucks. That's all it's five million dollars. Yeah. But five million dollars is lot, not a lot of money in the scheme of the world. Right? Yeah. Because after you get done paying taxes, you really minus, let's see, minus, let's say 25%. <laughs> You'll be in a higher tax bracket than that, probably 30. But anyway. Oh, no, no, no. Because you're doing business. I think dollars is going to get me out of this truck. It'll take oh, a whole lot oh, less oh, than that to get me out oh, of this yeah. truck. It ain't take much to get out of the truck. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Right, so said right. 100, grand a, 100 grand a week, 100 grand a month, 100 grand a year will get you out of that truck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Heck so, yeah, again. So, let me get let me stop sharing. So, guys, what I love about this business is it makes your mind work differently. You start thinking pallets, so everywhere you go, you're looking down between gates and stuff. What is that? What they got? Back here? <laughs> Going coming oh, yeah. back from Texas last week. Oh, yeah. I was looking on the interstates at different companies. I yep. was. Yep. Every time you drive on the highway, every time you're on the street, you be looking. What would they got back there? <laughs> sometimes yeah, you'll, sometimes you'll just turn up in the driveway and go back there and act like you lost. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that? <laughs> oh, all those pallets back there. What you doing? Because here's here. Get this guy. Say, Blue. Say you and Q are in Chicago and y'all doing a business deal, right? <laughs> and you're talking to some people. And you talking to them about palace. They say they're going to send you information. Boom, boom, boom. But you leave. It's, it's a business park. And you leave. And as you're leaving, you look down in a little alley. And the business right next door got 5,000 pallets stacked up. And you can tell they're old pallets. They're not brand new because they're not clean looking. They're pallets right. they put out there. Then you just whip in and say, you know, I was just wondering. I own a pallet business. And what do you guys do with those pallets? Oh man, can you take them? We get they piling up so fast. You can okay. <laughs> well, well, then you then you act don't act excited. You say, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. I just need to know. Do you know exactly what sizes they are? Yeah, they typical 48 by 40s. Okay. Uh so here's what I'll do. So you need them going. How fast you need them going? Yesterday. Okay, well, listen, I'll do, I'll do, I'll get all these pallets out of your backyard. And then I'll do a monthly cleanup, all right? But I'm going to mm -hmm. have to charge you 100 bucks a load, right? I'm going to have to charge you 100 bucks a load. And that's basically just for gas and labor. Okay, can you make it 50? Ah, okay, fine, 50, all right? Since it's you, right? Mm -hmm. So then you got 5,000 pallets, didn't cost you a dime. You got paid to get them. <laughs> and then <laughs> one of the companies that you're trying to sell pallets to the pallet yard is charging you six, but since you got them for free, <laughs> you can charge, you can sell them to them because they buying them for 10. But then you go to them and say, listen, I know you've been buying these pallets for 10 bucks. Do they have to be brand new? No, nah, they can be used pallets. As long as they're not broken and they can be, they're regular 48 by 44 ways, right? Yup. Okay. I may, I may have something for you. How many do you need? I need about a thousand a week. Okay. And you got, you know, you got 5,000 in the back. So that's at least five weeks. Right. So you tell the guys who got the pals, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to charge you to take them, but what I'm going to do is going to take me a minute to get them all. So how about once a week, I come and get at least a thousand until they're gone. Yeah. Cause then they won't stack up. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So then you rent a truck. You go get a thousand pallets a week. Every week you buy rent a truck. Truck's gonna cost you about two hundred bucks. Every week you rent the truck. You go get a thousand. That's for free. Take them to the person who needs them. That we're paying ten, and you're charging them six. So now you got six thousand dollars. That's game. Now, if you want to flip me some money on that, you can. But that's work that I ain't teaching you. I'm I'm teaching you. But that's not part of this business model. So if you get a deal right. like that, you can flip me a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand bucks, however you want to do it, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm giving you guys the pallet business. Right. 
I'm giving you guys right. the real game. All right. And then after you do that, after about two or three times going in and out and then going inside and having some coffee with the guy while their forklift guy is putting the pallets on your truck, you ain't doing all that. Their forklift right. guy is doing that. Now, let's say while you're in there talking and drinking coffee, you happen to notice they got 55 gallon drums sitting over in the corner. What's that? Oh, it's just drums. We have these, we got these solutions that come in every month. And once they, once we pour them out, we don't need the barrel anymore. And it's hard to sell them because people don't know what to do with them. Yeah, I get it. Um, just keep them there. I'll, let me figure something out. Then I can show you companies <laughs> that need 55 gallon drums and they're buying them brand new for like 40 bucks a piece. And if you can get you them have for to, free. You have to get them washed out. <laughs> yeah, of course. Sure. But typically they won't have them in their White House sitting there unless they're already washed out. Right? Yeah. So wow. they got a stack of 55 gallon drums stacking up in their fucking warehouse and they don't know what to do with them because you can't recycle them. You have to right. sell them. You can't put them in a dumpster. You have to sell them or give them right. away. So you say, okay, I'll take them. Just let me, give me some time to figure out where I can unload them. Make it sound like you're going to throw them away. Just give me a fine, let me figure out how I can unload them. And then you find a company that needs them, that buys them, that buys them brand new for $50 a piece. And say, do they have to be brand new? Well, no, I just need the damn drum. But you know where I can get some used ones? Yeah, I think I might have something figured out. How many do you need? I need 20 a week. Okay. How much you paying? 50 bucks a piece. Right? Thousand bucks a week they're paying. All right. Yep. You sell them to them for 40 bucks used or 30 bucks used, whatever. That didn't cost you a That's dime. $2,000. didn't cost you a dime. Yeah. I'm just saying, and that's just that. Then you go to those wooden reels that they that wire cables wrap that cable on. Yeah. Right. Those are sitting around somewhere in Chicago. There's some places in Dallas that got those reels just sitting out somewhere. And there's companies that pay 150, 200 bucks, depending on the size of the reel, every month, every whatever for them. Wow. I got game, y'all. I got game. Corrugated boxes, big giant ass corrugated boxes, Gaylord boxes, plastic containers, industrial bags. That's logistics. We're in the logistic business. We just happen to be leading with pallets because pallets are easier. But once you get rolling, you got some clients and they know you and you know them, you can ask them, hey guys, do you know anybody need any, um, cause I got some 55 gallon drums I, I, that I got. And, yeah, my buddy, he owns blah, blah, blah. And he pays 50 bucks a piece for him. Oh really? Well, I can fix that up. Can you hook me up with him? Yeah. Can you get him on the phone now? Yeah. Where's his office? About two miles from here. He calls. Hey, I got I got Blue and Q over here. Uh, they've been doing pallets with me for about three months. Um, you need 55 gallon drums, right? Yeah. Can you get used one? Yeah, of course. I just don't want to pay all that new. All right, no problem. Hey guys, go over there. His name is John. Go over there and talk to him now. Tell him you, you know we already talked. So just go and tell him and find out what they need. I need a hundred a week. Ah, shit. I might be able to get that. How much you paying now? Fifty bucks. How about thirty? What? Yeah, okay, cool. 30 bucks a piece. <laughs> Easy. Just, man, come on now. <clears throat> and I'm doing this off the dome. So imagine what it's going to be like when you're actually working with people. Right? Stuff just going to pop up. Right? I'm going to make my right. money. I'm going to make my money from the jobs you're doing for me in Brooklyn Palace. If you have some other stuff and you figure out a way to do it, treat me like you would, like, 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 the, like the mob used to treat Big Pauly Castellano. You know, hey, Big Pauly, I got this, <laughs> I got this side fucking deal I got going over here. You know, but I, but as a tribute to you, here, here you are, here you are, Godfather, right? Drop loads. Hey, thank you for wetting my beak. Because <laughs> <Right? laughs> that's what I'm doing, man. Think about it. I got cats all over the right. country right now, so I'm gonna get pretty soon. I'm gonna stop taking interviews altogether because I don't have time to fool with you. I'm gonna have a strong, solid team of three or four or five people. And that's just how it's going to roll. 
because I don't need a whole bunch of people. And it doesn't matter to you because you're going to make all the money you want. It doesn't matter if I got a thousand people in Chicago because you're still going to make your money because your deals are your deals. And if you want to get some more deals, you can because there are always going to be people who ain't going to want to work. As easy as this is, there are going to be people who aren't going to want to pick that phone up because it's not easy to pick the phone up. It's not easy to just pick it up and dial. But all you need to do is make one sale and make about a thousand bucks a week. You'll be picking that phone up all day. Gee, you got any more ads? Yeah, you got more, blah, blah, blah. All right? You'll start doubling <laughs> back. You'll start doubling back, calling people you already talked to. Yeah, I know what you told me. <laughs> all right? <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm saying. So again, that's the, when you go back and watch this video, EJ, grab that information and start calling and call in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And again, if you don't wanna do it there, you can do the exact same thing, just change the city. Doesn't matter where you are, cause you just make the calls. You can make calls in that's Alaska. It's crazy. It make any that's damn crazy. difference where you call. I, mean, I tell you what, I got a guy <laughs> on Facebook just reached out to me and said, um, uh, can I do this in Nigeria? I said, damn right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You don't think ain't no palace in Nigeria? <laughs> Everywhere there's a company, there's some palace. Right. <clears throat> Do you live in the United States? Yes. You speak English? Yes. You speak Nigerian? Yes. Oh, dude, we about to get paid. <laughs> right? Because right. anybody else doing this in Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody. So again, it's anywhere, man. It's everywhere. If you got relatives in the Virgin Islands, somebody delivering some pallets in the Virgin Islands. You got partners, you got buddies in, in Hawaii and you wanna make sure you can go to Hawaii once a year, start calling in Hawaii, get a couple, two, three deals. And then once a year or twice a year, you fly to Hawaii go just check to check on, on your traps. And you just sure. rode off the whole damn trip. It's all about game, folks. <laughs> it's all about that game. <clears throat> You know, you can't You've get got it, brother. You can't get rich unless you got passive income. You can't get rich unless you got passive income. Passive income is That's when right. you did a little bit of work at the beginning, and then you just keep getting paid over and over and over. That's passive. That's how you get rich. That's how you change your life and your kids' lives and your kids' kids' lives. Because everything you guys are doing right now, you can pass this on to any human being until there's no more phones where it's just built into your risk. Hey, I'm going to speak to Bill from, you know, <laughs> Hey, I want to talk to Bill from, from stuff. Hey, hey, Bill, how you doing? The earpiece is right here and the phone part is in your wrist. You ain't, your kid, you know, your kid when it's like 20 years old, like, Hey, blah, 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 blah. All right. My son is three. By the time he gets old enough to do this, he won't even need a phone. He can just think, John, this is right. Kingston calling from <laughs> all right so so again guys um that's all i got for today blue and q they already know they've been on it for they were first because they started bugging me like day one yes, <laughs> they started bugging me day one they're like hey man you know can we get started now okay fine okay fine all right so i, I want to just say bro, before we conclude it man it's q man yeah all uh, right you have to have the driving effort and force to know what you want because I got Greg's number off of the YouTube video that John put up. And if I was, if I took that, that extra effort to go into a video and get a number off of a video to call about the business, that's somebody that really wanted it. That's so real. I, just, I want everybody to have the same initiative as far as getting out here, making these phone calls and getting the face of these people because this business is the simplest business ever, most definitely. And I'm a living witness behind that. Y'all ain't hear him. Y'all didn't hear him? If you ain't in your, if you in your house right now watching this video and you ain't jumping up and down, you, there's something wrong with you. You need to check your pulse. Absolutely. Because I don't care what you are doing. I don't care what business you're in. I don't care if you spent 12 years to get your doctor, to get your physician's degree as a medical doctor. 
if you're a medical doctor in the United States of America, you're making average $250,000 to $350,000 a year. Guess what? Everybody that you see on this video will be making that kind of money every two or three months. Because you're not trading, because every doctor, lawyer, all these guys are trading their time for dollars. If you're a surgeon, if you're a surgeon, you only make money when you're in surgery. If you're a dentist, you only make money when you got your hands in somebody's mouth. Soon as you go on vacation, your money stops. Right? Every Saturday and Sunday, your money stops. Period. I know this. If you're in MLM, right? You're trading people for dollars. As soon as you stop shaking hands and calling people and making YouTube videos and doing all the stuff you do to try to get at least one person a day to join your business, whenever you stop doing that, your money stops. And everybody right. knows, even the top guy at Amway, the longest running network marketing MLM company in the world, the top person who makes a million bucks a month, they are still at 75 years old reaching out to somebody every day because for every one person they bring to the business, a hundred people fall off at the bottom of the pyramid. That's correct. So you never get to say, oh, I'm making my money now, I'm good. No, you can't do that, right? However, I'm a songwriter. Today is Thursday, December what? December 17th, 2020. 17th. Tonight, tonight on the ABC Firefighter Drama Station, Station 19. 19, I've got a song called One Soul. They're going to play that song for two minutes and 50 seconds on that show. I'm going to get paid every time they show that show as long as they show it. That's called passive. I did a little bit of work early. It took me two hours to write it and sing it. All right. And me and my writing partner are going to split that money for life. And, and, and all residual payments on music is a 75 year contract and then you transfer it to whoever you want to have it after you end your 75 years. That's wow. passive income. Yeah. Okay. I see why everybody rap now. <laughs> exactly. Now, here's another thing. Here's another thing. I wrote four songs on Jimmy Vaughn, Stevie Ray Vaughn's older brother who was in the Fabulous Thunderbirds and had his own records in 2001. I wrote four songs with Jimmy. It took us an hour to write all four songs. And I've been getting a check every quarter since 2001. We won a Grammy in 2001 for that album. And I get a check every quarter. Only problem is those checks kept getting smaller and smaller as people stopped buying the record. Right? But I still get a check, even if it's $30. I get a check every quarter. Wow. Money, mailbox money. Now, everybody you see above me and the people who aren't on this early call they're going to be making money every week or every month or both for as long as these companies are in business because I'm not going to let them walk away because as soon as they call me, a business owner calls Blue or calls EJ or calls Quentin or calls a Nick or whoever uh, and says, hey, the company that I used to be with, they just made me an offer to, to, uh, for less money for my palace. Really? How much did they offer you? Because they have a contract with us where right. we get first right of refusal, right? To meet or beat whatever deal they get from somebody else. Tell you what you do. Get that in writing. Let me see it. All right? If I can beat it, because I know I can, then we'll do, we'll, we, can, we can stay in business, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, no problem. They said... We were paying 10, you guys got us at nine. The company we were at said they can do it at eight. Okay, here's the paperwork. Technically, they really said 850. I get it, they lied at first. You lied to me trying to get less money. But you you got it for 850, 
All right. If I can make it eight, are you good? Yes. We lowered by a half by one dollar from nine to eight. You guys make a little bit less, but you keep the deal. Exactly. You keep the deal. And right now, John Wilker, the owner of the Simplest Biz, the Simplest Biz Ever.com, the owner of Simplest Biz is doing a new deal right now where he's coming up with businesses all over the country that have thousands and thousands of pallets steeply discounted. Y'all ain't trying to hear me today. So that same company that we were getting them for, for five, selling them for nine, if they come, if another company comes around and tries to get us a better deal, we can stay with the company we with, we're with and say, listen, guys, they have undercut us by a dollar, which means you need to cut your price by a dollar instead of five. It needs to go to four. If you can't do that, I understand. But if you can do it, well, we can't. We really physically cannot do it without losing money. No problem. You're going to have to lose this deal, right? Because we got another company over here that John Wilker hooked me to that I can get these same pallets for three. So getting them for three, selling them for eight, that's five instead of four now. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. This is crazy. So again, I'm going to roll out. Everybody watching, don't call me unless you know how to talk. Blue Q, good job, brothers. EJ, I showed you that game. Get on it. You guys need me. You know you can always get me. If you don't catch me when you first call it, because I still talk to people myself. If you don't get me, then just leave me a voice message detailing what it is you need. If I can get it to you without calling, I'll get that done immediately. All right? If I can't, I will call you and jump on it as soon as I can. We don't let money fall through the cracks over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I might we... have something for you, though. So um, we go be in tune later. And we did. How many was it? Two businesses for this email? Yeah, two or three. I think it was two or three that we gave your email to. So you should be expecting invoices sometime this week or, you know, just within the upcoming day. Right. So that was right. yesterday. Right. So you should be getting some invoices, you know, whenever right. they get around to it, you know. Awesome. And I'll tell you something else, guys. Good if job, nothing, brother. If not, exactly. Yes, sir. If nothing gets done, let's say no business gets done because we're going into Christmas and then after going into Christmas, you got just a few days and you got New Year's Eve and boom, boom, boom. Right. Let's say all business starts kicking in in mid-January. Who going to cry about that? Nobody. Because right. all you did yep. make some phone calls. <laughs> It's not like you went yeah. out and bust the payment or not like you're driving 3,000 miles a week. Because some companies, <laughs> they're going to be closed uh, all right. next week anyway. Exactly. Yeah, for Christmas. So We're not, after that, I'm not working like, next week. Back. But one I mean, thing is like, job. Get them back after the fourth. Right. Yeah. But one thing's a fact. 2021 about to be baller central. Anybody dealing yeah. with us? Because I'm going to tell you, if you join the business with us, Mm -hmm. You don't just get me, right? You get EJ, you get Q, you get Blue, you get all of us, right? Now, let one more thing I want to I want to drop on you real quick. Uh, everybody here, because most of you guys, I don't know if you're on Facebook or not. I don't know, but um, I am. All right, yeah, but, I'm on there, but not on there. If that not, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Now, check it out. Yeah. That's our group Facebook page. It's a private group. Oh, cool. Right? So if you look up Greg Sane, that's Greg Sane. Look up Greg Sane. All right? Add me. Because once you add me, then I'll put you in the private group. And that's where you guys are going to help me teach these new guys. And you got okay. nothing to lose by helping them. Even if, right. even if, check this out. Even if 10 people today decide they want to work in Chicago, <laughs> they can't slow down one nickel of Blue and Q's money. No, not sir. at all. Not no. at all. Because that's just, because they just got four. And if I know them, they're already looking into other business models without me even knowing it. 
We in the streets right now, Greg. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're in the streets right now, Greg. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, guys, again, let me let me stop sharing. Again, this call's going on long enough. We can sit here and joke around all day. But again, folks, if you're interested in this business, reach out to me. My phone number is 612-888-78. Well, somebody's calling now. 7807. I'll get back to them. 7807 and leave me a voice message. You're auditioning. <laughs> leave me a voice message. All right. I will get back to you and I will get you started. And then you can be on this top level too with people talking. Right. You can be up yes, there. Sir. Right. So again, go to my phone number 612 888 7807. If you think you're baller enough to do what I'm doing, go to the simplestbizever.com and get the program. Because every one of these guys, and everybody work with me, they have six months and then they have to buy the program themselves because I want everybody working with me right now to leave me and start their own business just like this. Mm -hmm. You ain't never seen nothing like that in your life. This is the first time you ever heard anybody say, I want you to leave me and do business. Right. Mm -hmm. And again, <laughs> If it start getting crowded in Chicago and blue, blue and cute, if you start feeling <laughs> tight and and crowded in Chicago, what are you gonna do? Move around the next city, shit. Indiana, <laughs> right next door. Indiana, right next door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, it's listen. Chicago I, too big. So it's man. too big. You can't. You, oh, you know, to think about it's again. Too much, bro. Ten people doing business in Ennis, Texas, can't will never run out of business. In just no. little bitty Ennis, Texas. So again, guys, no. I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to help. I'm glad you guys are working. I'm excited because y'all let's get this money, let's get this bread, because it's there and it just waiting. Everybody, we here's what I always say, and I want you to bear this in mind. Say it sometimes to the people you're talking to and watch how they react. We have a moral and fiduciary responsibility to save every company we talk to money. That is our yes. moral and fiduciary responsibility. Because when a business is open, the economy is moving. So on that note, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks, EJ. Thanks, Blue. Thanks. Hey, Peter there's some plastic barrels. What? <laughs> plastic <laughs> barrels? What? I promise. Plastic barrels. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not kidding you. I literally <laughs> looked over there and there's some plastic barrels. Let me see where I'm at here. <laughs> I am at, uh, I'm gonna go, EJ. Let me know what you come up with. Hey guys, love you too, man. Hey, y'all have a Merry Christmas. Are we gonna have a call next week? Uh, no, no. Okay, we Merry Christmas to you, Blue, and Merry Christmas to you, Q. Merry Christmas, yes, brother. Sir. Love you, man. Thank, Thank you, man. Man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, and uh, y'all have a good day. And as always, in parting, peace. <laughs>